Hello students, we are going to do physics one practical that is conversion of galvanometer into ammeter. So for doing the experiment, we are going to consider some given data that is uh, here galvanometer resistance is 50 ohms and for that a figure of merit of a galvanometer K so 20 micro ampere per division radius of the given wire here that is 0.2 into 10 raised to minus 3 meters and calculated specific resistance of the material of the wire rho is 0.7 into 10 raised to minus 6 ohm meter the maximum current to be measured here that is 30 milliamps Start. Uh, the circuit for doing the experiment is follows like this so here main thing we need to note down is that galvanometer is connected in parallel with the sent resistance so that arrangement we need to note down uh, we will do the connection from the battery as a reference so from the negative of the battery you can observe in the video from negative of the battery we connected that to the plug key so one end of the plug key is connected to the lower end of the rear upper lower end of the rear stat pause 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 Start. A positive of the battery is connected to positive of the milliammeter the other end that is negative of the ammeter is connected to the galvanometer so that galvanometer one end is connected to the meter bridge one side another end is connected to the jockey uh, from that junction uh, it is connected to the upper end of the rheostat this is what the simple circuit we are going to do for the experiment uh, to do the experiment we have some observations along with some uh, standard calculation to get the practical values so first observation is number of divisions on the galvanometer scale it is 30 division for full scale deflection of the galvanometer that uh, current is calculated using the formula n into k so here is the calculation 30 into 10 to the power minus 6 so we are getting the current as 0.6 milliamps maximum current to be measured that is 30 milliamps theoretical calculation for a resistance that has to be connected in parallel with the galvanometer so it was come out to be s equal to 1.02 ohms okay you can check the calculation using the substitution part so the desired value of length is to be connected uh, in parallel with the galvanometer so that is also we need to calculate l is equal to so by substitution using all the data so we are getting it as 20 cm or otherwise 0.2 meters we need to convert uh, so from 0 to 30 milliamps so uh, to do that we need to adjust that in a ammeter by using the rheostat by closing plug key start so now place the jockey on the uh, wire and using the rheostat knob adjust uh, 30 milliamps in the ammeter you can see 30 divisions in the ammeter by adjusting the rheostat start by adjusting the length on the wire using the jockey we are going to convert the ammeter uh, the given galvanometer into ammeter you can see the readings as 30 division in the galvanometer so the length was set up as in the uh, meter bridge it, it is uh, 20 nearly 20 you can read it uh, 19.8 also uh, by doing the experiment now we are able to find the practical length for the maximum deflection in the galvanometer so it is found to be 20 cm or 0.2 meters and we are going to find the experimental resistance that has to be connected in parallel with the galvanometer using this L dash length now we are going to find S dash so L dash into rho divided by pi r square so the result is now 1 ohm so this is how we are going to do the experiment so we are going to convert a given galvanometer into a meter so using the range 0 to 30 milliamps by connecting the length of uh, here 30 milliamps by connecting the length of 0.2 meters and the resistance is 1 ohm so this is how the experiment is done